Let us begin with Windows Remote Desktop. If you are using Microsoft Windows, then that one already comes with your PC. It's stable, easy to use, and you don't have to download any third-party software. But the problem is, it's only available on Windows. So for example, if you have Mac or Linux, it won't work for you. And something else to remember is that the host computer or the computer you're trying to remotely connect to must run Windows Professional or higher. So if you are running Windows 10 Home as an example, it won't work for you. Another app you can use to remotely connect to another computer is Google Chrome. One reason why Google Chrome is ideal is because it's so popular. For example, in 2019, Google Chrome was the most popular web browser. And <laughs> most likely, you have Google Chrome on your PC right now. And now, you can use Google Chrome to remotely connect to another PC. And interestingly, you can also use your mobile device, such as your smartphone or tablet, to remotely connect. Another app you can use is TeamViewer. It is definitely one of the most popular standalone remote desktop apps out there. And it offers great premium features for free. Well, that is free for personal use. For example, if you are getting paid to remotely connect to someone's computer to fix something, then that's considered to be commercial use. But for a fact, as a free software, TeamViewer offers amazing features. The next one on our list is Cloudberry Remote Assistant. While this one is not nearly as popular as TeamViewer and not nearly as polished, but as a free software, it offers great features as well. As a free software, it includes ideal features such as encrypted connection, file transfer, unattended access, and even text and voice chat. And what is more, it has a nice, simple user interface, so it's easy to use. Alright, now let us see Cloudberry in action. I am going to use it to remotely connect to my laptop. Now the links to download Cloudberry and the other remote desktop software are in the video description. Once you have downloaded and installed Cloudberry on your computer and the host computer, go ahead and run it. As I already mentioned, the user interface is really simple. When you open the app, you will see these two buttons right here on the top left. The top one with the down arrow pointing towards the computer means this is the host computer. In other words, you are going to use another PC to connect to the one you are using now. And the one with the up arrow pointing away from the computer means you are going to connect to a host computer. So the other PC that you're not using right now. So on the computer you are going to connect to, make sure you are on this screen so that you can see the computer ID and pin number. And on the computer you are going to use to connect to the other computer, make sure you are on this screen so that you can enter the computer ID and pin number. And additionally, as you can see, you can allow unattended access. Now there's one setting that's very, very, very important. That is if you want to be able to control, not just view the computer you want to remotely connect to. Click the menu button on the top left and then choose options. From the left side, go to where it says incoming connection. And then where it says default access level for incoming connection, make sure you select full control, not view only, which is how it's set by default. Once you do this, you'll have full control over the computer you are remotely connected to. <laughs> and that's it, you are all set. Now you are ready to remotely connect. So now all you have to do, go right here and now enter the computer ID and then the PIN number for the host computer. And that's it. <laughs> now you are remotely connected and you have full control over the host computer. So as you can see, overall, definitely Cloudberry Remote Assistance is a great, great remote desktop software. And the truth is, besides Windows Remote Desktop, Google Chrome, TeamViewer, and Cloudberry, there are other effective free remote desktop software out there. So if you know of any, please leave them in the comments below. Definitely for more interesting, straightforward videos like this, please subscribe and thanks for watching.